there was like a technical difficulty like salchichas all together i'm not gonna lie i was shook hi guys it's Vess. welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new in today's video i'm super excited because i'm gonna be able to tell you guys what happened at six flags i really wanted to make this video more of like a vlog style but six flags was a hot mess so i wasn't able to but i did film here and there and i really wanted to show you guys how it went how it is during covid what measures they're taking is it worth it to go and things like that don't forget to subscribe if you're not and Let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Right now, I have a do-rag on. I just woke up. It's like 2 in the morning. You guys, like, we're already starting with the Halloween decorations. You guys like Tito? My best friend got me this do-rag, so my cousin did my braids. I'll link her Instagram down below. I love it so much. But we're going to start getting ready now because the reservations are 5 and everything at, like, Six Flags. We have to make, like, reservations and stuff. So I'm going to start getting ready. So I'll vlog that for you guys, and I'll show you what it's like. In Six Flags now. Just finished taking a shower. I'm all dressed. I'm I'm looking for my sports bra, but I can't find it. I find we're going to Six Flags. It's best if you wear things that are super comfortable, cause it's a lot of walking, a lot of stuff. I'm wearing a t-shirt, some leggings, and I'm conflicted if I should wear my Crocs or not, because they might fly off if they're not on sport mode. This shirt was from a I believe a Shein home that I made a couple weeks ago, so I'm gonna post it down below as well. With the link and everything and also right here or right here so you guys can take a look you guys like my teeth oh my god they've been getting so straight i've had invisalign for almost like a year now which is amazing so i'm gonna get started my hair looks amazing because of the do there's a lot of people sipping over tonight but i am now gonna get started on doing my edges concealing this pimple fest that's going on here because of the mask my face has been breaking out unbelievably like super that's an issue that's strange that's weird i'm gonna go ahead and start my brows and start my pimples continue the pimples i don't want to do a full face because we're gonna be scared and there's no point to do a full face but let's get started we're sitting in front of my desk this computer is one that my job gave me so i can do my work from home um but i i barely use it i should use it more but i barely do but I'm gonna get started on the brows. And with my eyebrows, I just kinda wanna fill in like the little spots like right over here that got taken off when I go to do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna use the Poe Create. Poe Create. I'm gonna use, I'm watching too many reels on Instagram. Be watching like all this creative stuff. So like how they package their orders and how they do a whole bunch of stuff use procreate and everything we went to the six flags in new jersey we live here in new york but we went to the one in jersey and i hope this video is helpful for you guys i know some of you guys don't even live in the states which makes me super happy oh my god people are watching in other places in the world wow there was a total amount of 10 of us it was all my cousins my best friend my cousin's friend and my little sister melise she's seven and on our way there the app ways gave us a million and one ways to get there Maybe that's how I got its name, ways, ways. Anyways, there it is again. My sister was driving, which I found super cool, considering the fact that she literally had surgery three months ago on her knee, and she was driving with that same leg to another state. So I found that really cool. I was really proud of her. Like I said, we were linking my cousin to 10 of us, so they had another car, and we got there at the same exact time, which I found super cool. So we got to Six Flags. Say hi, Belize. We changed our tickets from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. because around 6 o'clock, they start scaring you for Fright Fest. Something I found super interesting was that they weren't calling it Fright Fest. They were kind of calling it like Halloween Fest or something like that. They did not use Fright Fest, not that I've seen. So you have to get the tickets online and you also have to wear a face mask. The first thing we did when we walked in was we went to the Halloween trail, which is like a candy. I think it's like where the Houdini thing was, but we went to the Halloween trail and we realized it was just for kids, but it was fine. We did it for Belize and at the end they gave her like a goodie bag and it had like Dockies and like this Daki like Cheeto thing and it was the most disgusting thing ever, but they gave her a goodie bag and we started going from there. 
We waited for the twister, which is like the Twix thing that like spins you like that. The line for that ride was huge. While we were waiting for it, there was like a technical difficulty. So we decided to not wait and go and look for some other rides. We went on my favorite ride ever, which is the Runaway Mine Train. While we were waiting on this line, they did do some social distancing stuff. Like they skipped every other row. So like if you were waiting on this side, there was like an empty row and then other people was on the other side of that. If you guys haven't been on the Runaway Mine Train, you need to try it. Even though it's supposed to be like a kid's ride, it's super fun. It has all the best parts of a roller coaster. It goes up, down, around, spins you around. It has a low dip, a big dip, every dip. It's just like the best. It's fast and it really is really, really fun. My little sister's seven. Her name is Belise. You guys have seen her on my channel before. If you guys haven't, I'll link some videos with her down below. She's super funny. She's like the best person ever. She's, she's the best. We brought her with us and you would think that like because she's a child, it would like not make it as fun. But no, because some of us were really scared of Six Flags and some of the rides. So having her there was just fun because surprisingly, she wasn't scared of any of the rides. She couldn't get on a lot of the rides due to the high requirement because you have to be like 54 inches. And I mean, I'm 5'9 inches, 5'9. I'm 59 inches, so I barely made it. But literally, this girl was not scared of any of the rides. She was looking forward to it. She really wanted to get on all of them, but because of the height, she couldn't. The rides we did get on, she didn't scream at all. Like I said, with the runaway mind train, like that ride looks like a kid ride, but it's, it, it, it could shake you. Like it's really, really good. So on that ride, she rode with my cousin and then my cousin was like leaning on her and Belisha was like holding her. My cousin's like 23 and she's holding her like that. It was so cute. When I told you we was all screaming, we were all screaming, except for her. Like she took it like a champ. Like my cousin, he's, he's big and I was with him the whole time and I was grabbing onto him. He was screaming, but I couldn't scream because I was laughing so hard on that ride. But during that ride and during most of the rides, she was super calm, super collective. Like she was having a good time. What I didn't understand about this Six Flags was that I saw the effort. I saw the effort that they did during COVID and I saw the effort they were doing in trying to social distance. However, I feel more could have been done. Six Flags is literally my favorite place ever. Like I love it a lot. Like I would go there every day if I could, but I don't feel like it did much for COVID. They did some things, but they could have done more. Some of the things they did right was skipping the rows. So on, on some of the rides. So people were here, some people were there, empty row. They did that for a couple of the rides. On the rides itself, they did do social distancing. So two people were on this side and then there were like seven seats empty. And then it was like two more people sitting there. And it was like a total of like, on a ride that can normally fit like probably 40 people, they only had like 10. But what's the point of all these little tiny rules if you guys are not regulating the amount of people going into the park? To get in, you have to make a reservation, um, but there's no limit to how long you can stay, which is pretty good, but there's no limit to how long you can stay. So somebody who came in at 1.30 and somebody who came in at 5.30 could both stay there till the park ends. There was no regulation of the amount of people. I've been to Six Flags multiple times during multiple seasons. I've went multiple times in the summer, multiple times during Fright Fest, and the amount of people that I saw, like, in Six Flags was incredible. And my cousin who goes there all the time and my cousin's friend who goes there all the time, they literally said that they never seen that many people there. We were trying to make an estimate of how many people were in the park. We were like sitting next to like the courtyard area where like the food is and like the twister is. And I was saying there's more than like 2000 people just in that one area. But I believe I'm super lowballing it because it was a lot of people. We got to get on some of the kitty rides. We got on one that like swayed side to side. It was like a, a boat with like a little woman's face at the top and it like swayed side to side. It wasn't much, but it was fun. At least I enjoyed it. After this kitty ride, we waited again for the twister. And again, it was a huge line. The twister is super fun if you guys haven't been on it. It's like flips you this way. And then it like holds you on the edge. 
and you go like and then it's been due again it's a blast this ride is an example of the nonsense that was going on in six flags what is the point of them making a social distance on the ride when they're not regulating the waiting area so, so let me get this right. We're here waiting to get on the ride and we're all packed together like salchichas all together, like one on top of the other. Like there was no type of social distancing. And then when we get on the ride, we can only fit 10 people. If they already had COVID, they done gave it to me already because we was all smushed together. Joking, not joking. But still, I feel like if they're going to social distance the attractions, social distance the weight lines, the little stands and stuff like that, make us do that too. Because there's no point of me being stuck with these people and then when we get on the ride, I'm like five million feet away from them and it just doesn't make any sense. I'm all about the distancing of the social. COVID is real, COVID is still happening. We need to stop the spread and stuff like that. But they need to do more regulation on like the waiting lines and like make little, I don't know what they did in the, the mine train where they blocked off one of the roads because we were not social distancing at all on the wait lines. But on the rides itself, we were. So it just don't make no sense. We tried to get on El Toro, but it was two and a half hours wait. We tried to get on Superman, but it was an hour wait. We tried to get on Green Lantern, it was an hour and a half wait. So no matter what, there was a lot of people. So there was a lot of waiting. And you know, if the waiting is in regards to COVID because they're trying to make a social distance, I, I get it, I totally get it. But it was because of the amount of people that we had to wait so long. Something that really helped us in seeing what rides we could try to get on was downloading the Six Flags app. With this app, you can order food, you can see the wait times, and it was really helpful in trying to find out where to go next. After we got on the Twister, my cousin really wanted to do the slingshot, so we waited for them to do that. I really wanted to get on that ride, but my heart and my anxiety just wouldn't let me. When I tell you guys, while they were waiting to get on that slingshot, we did so many things. We done ate chicken tenders and fries. We played the game with the water. We just squirted it into the hole. We walked around, bought a couple of things, looked for some funnel cake. We got on the ride that's like a basket in the seat and it brings you up twice and they were still waiting. In the ride where it's like you're like in a seat with like, you know, and you go up, I super underestimated it. I thought, okay, it's super slow. It's not gonna be that bad. Like it's gonna be whatever. You're just gonna go in the air, not a big deal. Lord himself, when that thing went up, like my brain was like, and I, it was like super scary. I'm not gonna lie, I was shook. I went with my sister, darling, and when we're there, we're like looking for the seatbelt and it's one seatbelt for the two of you. And then when you go up, like it like goes, and then we were there and I was like, darling, Darling, darling. And she was shook too. And she was like, and I was weak. The best and worst part of that ride is the illusion of not being safe. Because the only thing you could grab onto is this bar in front of you. So we had to hold onto the bar. I was holding onto like the back of my seat. It wasn't fast, but it was just like super high. Like we saw the whole, we saw, we passed the slingshot. We passed everything. We could see, I, I think I could see Jupiter. Like it was really high, high, high. And again, we went again on the ride and I'm over release. And then we're on the ride going up. And then I'm here like, Jesus, Jesus himself. Lord, want to do it, Lord, oh my God. And this girl is like, such a nice view. And I'm like, girl, like you're really small. You could slip out of this seat. Like with this tiny seatbelt, I was I was shook. And she's over here like, I love it. It looks so nice. After we did all of that, my cousins were finally able to get on the slingshot. All the way up. 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 
my heart dropped for them. After that, we went into the cemetery and I expected this to truly be scary. Cause last time I went, people were popping up out of the cemetery. There was people going crazy. It was like the cars start beeping when you're walking by them. It was, it was, it was different. And this was the one instance where my sister was actually scared. And the other time she wasn't scared, but in the cemetery, she was super scared. And that was for no reason because the cemetery wasn't even scary. The only thing that truly was scary was when we were near the Joker, which was closed at that time. And I think it was closed period. Um, there was like this dog, like red dog, bone, bone dog. And I told my sister, pose, pose there, let's take a picture. She was like, okay. So we go, I take a picture of her. And when we start walking away, that thing starts growling. And I said, oh my God. We got our funnel cake and started making our way out around 10. We were only able to get on the twister, the thing that goes up. We were able to get on the mine train the thing that sways and that's pretty much it we weren't able to get on much mind you we got there and we had like six hours there and nothing nothing we played the little guns but there was not much we could do because the amount of people was incredible there wasn't that many people scaring us as well like before you used to walk and somebody used to chainsaw you and like you running from them the whole park and like it was different and this time was not like that i understand covid everything but i wish they would have regulated the amount of people there it was a lot of people all in all we had a good time but i wish we could have done more at least we got on the mine train which is absolutely my favorite i love that i love that ride and i wish more could have been done my sister put it in the best way possible she said that she felt like she didn't really go to fright fest or like nothing she felt like she went to six flags and it was decorated like halloween so yeah i wish more could have been done i see their efforts and i see the fact that they tried, you know, like they, they skipped the roads, they're regulating on the lines itself, but it wasn't, it wasn't that, it wasn't that fun. It wasn't that fun. <laughs> like I mentioned a million times in this video, they have to regulate the amount of people in the park. Because if you guys know that you're going to social distance on the ride and that itself is gonna take longer, why prolong it by not regulating the amount of people? I don't know if they've done anything for it, but that was the greatest amount of people I've ever seen in Six Flags ever. So I think they should have just regulated that. So I just wanted to tell you guys my experience coming back from Six Flags and hopefully this helps you guys out. Definitely download the Six Flags app. There's no point in coming in the afternoon like because they're not scaring you anyways. And there's no haunted houses, there's no scary anything. So don't the earlier you come definitely the better it was freezing as well and super dark but there was not really much scary going on it wasn't it was not that and the tickets were cheap maybe that's why they were cheap because they know that you're probably not going to be able to get on everything so i just wanted to tell you guys my experience i love six flags i want to go back so everybody can have a good time definitely limit the amount of people so yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update i wanted to make it more vlog style but I couldn't thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we're almost getting our 100th video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye